Well, it seems that this uh, Quran burning over in Sweden is still continuing to create no small stir. This time, it's the Jesuit Illuminati ran UN, the United Nations, over in uh, New York City that is coming out and getting all triggered over this burning of the blasphemous, idolatrous, Islamic, unholy text known as the Quran. You know. And of course, uh, this it, it obviously is creating a huge stir over in the Ishmaelite Muslim world, but that, obviously be, that is to be expected when you consider what Genesis 16, verse 11 and 12 says about these Ishmaelite Muslims. But of course, it's not surprising either that the Satanic Jesuit Illuminati New World Order uh, United Nations organization is, is coming out and getting all triggered about this thing as well. It says here on Al Jazeera News, UN body condemns Quran burning in Sweden. Alliance of Civilizations and several Muslim majority countries denounce stunt by Danish far right party leader. It's crazy how all these Muslims and all these Ishmaelite, you know, Illuminati, uh, Jesuitical, uh, New World Order shills essentially in the, uh, the UN, these Muslims, you know, these, these Illuminati Jesuit Muslims, because essentially Islam is just, you know, Rome is the mom of Islam, we'll put it that way. So, uh, and plus Islam is just full of all kinds of Illuminati symbolism. I've done videos on that, but it's no surprising. I mean, well, it's kind of surprising to get triggered over one little, one, you know, kind of obscure political party leader doing it, but the way they're acting, the kind of shenanigans and barbaric acts they're doing in response is not surprising one bit. What it says here in the article, a high rep the high representative of the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations has condemned the burning of the Muslim holy book by, by Swedish-Danish far-right politician as a vile act. Rasmus Paladin, leader of the Danish far-right political party Hardline, carried out the stunt outside the Turkish embassy in Sweden under the protection of local police on Friday. You wonder why he has to get protected by local police. Well, it's probably because these Ishmaelite Illuminati Muslims are going to act like a bunch of wild men as Genesis 16 verse 11 and 12 says Ishmael would be and these again these Muslims are spiritual descendants of Ishmael it says in the article while the high representative stresses the importance of upholding freedom of expression as a fundamental human right he also emphasizes that the act of Quran burning amounts to an expression of hatred towards Muslims a spokesperson for Miguel Anjo Martino said in a statement released on Sunday what about all the kind of stuff the Quran says about you know the the non-Muslims, especially the Christians, you know, uh, curses them in Quran. I think it's uh, 9 verses uh, 28 down to verse 30, you know, curses. And that's just one verse, but it curses Christians for believing that Jesus Christ is God's son, you know, because their Arabian moon idol of Allah is all triggered over that as well, apparently. But yeah, I mean, you want to talk about so-called hate speech? The Quran is full of that towards, especially uh, what, what are called Christians. Okay, I'm trying to get away from using that term because it's not really, it's not really like, Christianity is not really a scriptural term. The biblical term would be like a saint or, you know, church of the living God. But they, the Quran says that it's, it's Christian. But how it refers to the saints is, uh, yeah, it'd be called, it, it would be considered hate speech by their standards. But of course, you know, they're not going to cover that, of course. Because again, it's a Jesuit Illuminati New World Order uh, shill organization, essentially, in New York City. But it says here in the article, it is disrespectful and insulting to the adherents of Islam and should not be completed with freedom of expression, the statement added. Mara Tinos, who, leads, who heads a UN agency that describes itself as devoted to promoting understanding across diverse communities, says he was concerned about the rise in discrimination, intolerance, and violence directed against members of many religious and other communities in various parts of the world. He called for the building of mutual respect and promotion of inclusive, peaceful societies rooted in human rights and dignity for all. What a great New World Order, Jesuit, Illuminati, pro-Ishmaelite, uh, pro Islam, Mohammedan statement right there. You know, oh, promotion of inclusive, peaceful societies. Kind of like what the Antichrist will bring. You know, the Antichrist talks about, I think it's Daniel chapter 11, verses 36 down to verse 38. You know, uh, I forget the exact verse. Not This, this really isn't in my notes, but it talks about he maketh wars to cease and all sort of stuff. See, this thing of world peace... Yes, Jesus Christ does bring that, but prophetically speaking, the Antichrist brings it first. But, you know, what should I expect from the pro-Islam uh, Illuminati Jesuit New World Order organization known as the UN? You know, pandering and getting uh, pandering to these Ishmaelite Muslims and getting all triggered over a burning of the blasphemous, idolatrous, unholy uh, Islamic text known as the Quran and this false religion of Islam and the Arabian moon idol of Allah who gets all triggered over just one little guy from this political party over in Sweden burning the Quran. So anyway, I wanted to just point that out, uh, kind of on the spot, but yeah, don't be deceived by Islam and don't be deceived by the satanic Jesuit Illuminati organization known as the UN. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren.
Goodbye. Thank you.